Good afternoon, Bermuda. The Ministry of Youth, Culture, and Sport is extremely proud of its role in ensuring that Bermuda's culture and heritage is preserved, promoted, and most of all, supported. As I address you today, we are a few days away from the start of Heritage Month, and I'm really excited to announce a wonderful initiative aimed at providing support for our Bermuda Day Parade participants. I am joined today by Dr. Myra Virgil, the CEO and Managing Director of the Bermuda Foundation. Thank you, Dr. Virgil, for being with, here with us today. As we know, Heritage Month is one of the most exciting times on our island. As it culminates with the Bermuda Day Parade, one of the most important events on our cultural calendar. This year, Bermuda Day will be celebrated on May 26th. And we are expecting residents and visitors alike to be lining the streets in the thousands to enjoy the Bermuda Day Parade and Half Marathon Derby. It's a day of celebration, camaraderie, music, energy, culture, and national pride. Yes, this is certainly a day full of fun and excitement for those who are cheering on our fellow Bermudians from the sidelines. But we also know that for those who are participating in the Bermuda Day Parade, this can be a quite expensive endeavor. In fact, we have been receiving feedback from parade participants, including float builders, majorettes, and dance groups, that it's becoming increasingly difficult to participate in this iconic, iconic event because of the associated cost. Unfortunately, this has contributed to a reduced presence by some groups. The government has received expressions of interest from the private sector to provide sponsorship or support, but a mechanism for pooling, collecting, tracking, and dispersing donated funds is needed. So thanks to the innovative thinking within the Ministry of Youth, Culture, and Sport, in partnership with the Bermuda Foundation, Today, we are thrilled to launch the Bermuda Day Fund, a first of its kind. Sponsors interested in helping to offset the cost for par parade participants will be able to donate to the Bermuda Fund. The Bermuda Foundation will serve as the fund manager, and parade participants will receive, depending on their budgets, a maximum of $2,500 towards their participation expenses, including costumes, truck rentals, and float building materials. Although this support will in no way cover the entire amount of financing required for many groups to participate, it will help to defray cost and give a much needed boost to these charities and community groups that put in so much work and effort to make the Bermuda Day holiday special for all of us. So today, we are inviting businesses, private foundations, or individuals who want to support community organizations for the Bermuda Day Parade to the fund via the foundation's community giving website. That website is www.givebermuda.org under Bermuda Day Fund. One more time, that website is www.givebermuda.org under the Bermuda Day Fund. We see this as a win-win for everyone involved. With the creation of the Bermuda Day Fund and our partnership with the Bermuda Foundation, we are making an impact by providing tangible, community-focused support. By using this mechanism of support, we are ensuring that participants who need access to funding have an equitable and accessible way of getting it. This year, our Heritage Month theme is a Bermudian Renaissance. And we chose this theme because we recognize that Bermudians have always been resourceful. Our artists have also redefined Bermuda's creative offerings, whether it be public art, spoken word, music or dance. This innovative partnership is a perfect example 
of Bermudian resourcefulness and adapting to our current climate. Last year, the Bermuda Day Parade was one of the most attended events in the post-pandemic era, and we're looking forward to building upon last year's participation and attendance levels. We want to have as much participation as possible from our energetic dance troops, vibrant floats, as well as majorettes. For that to happen, we as a community need to provide support. So we hope with the launch of the Bermuda Day Fund, we will have as much representation and participation as possible for the parade. We want this to be the best and biggest event yet. So let's join together as a community, support the Bermuda Day Parade, and celebrate one another at our signature event next month. I'd like to thank Dr. Virgil and the Bermuda Foundation for their partnership on this initiative, and I'd now like to invite Dr. Virgil to share a few words. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Darrell. And I'm happy to be here to represent the Bermuda Foundation. As many of you will be aware, the Bermuda Foundation has managed many community funds at this point. Many will recall that in collaboration with Centennial Bermuda Foundation back in March 2020, uh, we established the COVID-19 uh, emergency fund. And then from there on during the pandemic, we managed the hardship fund and access to technology for students that needed um, computers and uh, iPads for work, and an antigen test for frontline servicing nonprofits fund. So we have a bit of expertise in this, in this, this, this work in stewarding funds for, for the third sector um, as a whole, and particularly those who, at that time who provided essential services to Bermuda. Um, people in this community were super generous and contributed to those community funds. And actually we hope that, that we'll see that kind of spirit of giving again um, with this fund. This, the the Bermuda, Day, Bermuda Day is for all of us. It's for everyone to enjoy. And we want to ensure that community groups and nonprofits um, can participate in a way that makes it a great day for everyone. Um, how does this model work, people may be asking, in terms of the Bermuda Day Fund? The same architecture will apply that we used for the emergency fund. So we believe, um, as the government does, and as we've heard from um, corporate sponsors, that there are individuals and organizations who will want to use, um, who want to see this holiday flourish, and they'll want to support it. But they may not know which community groups uh, need support, and that's where a community fund um, comes into play into play. Donors can contribute to the fund and then we manage those funds out to the community organizations. And this is what we essentially do. This is how we are structured to do. We are the container um, for managing those funds that will go out to community groups. And in terms of how donors can make contributions, how people, businesses, individuals, community members can make, um, can contribute to the Bermuda Day Fund. Um, they can go, as the, the minister said, to www.givebermuda.org and look under Bermuda Day Fund, and then you'll see a Donate Now button. And um, you hit that Donate Now button, you make your contribution, you can do it by credit card, you can, there's a number of ways that you can do that. You will receive an official receipt for that contribution. For anybody who needs and who would like, to, who's an American taxpayer and would like to use the our 501c3 uh, facility, you can make that gift and get an IRS tax deduction as well. Um, once those funds are received, uh, we will pool them and then we will um, work with the government to ensure that those funds go out to community groups. Um, those donations, because of the structure that we have in place, are tracked. We acknowledge those gifts. We can actually track um, everywhere that those dollars go, and um, they will all go towards ensuring that this is a great day for all. We'd like to congratulate the Ministry of Youth, Culture, and Sport for setting up this fund in aid of all of us enjoying a fulsome community event where everyone who wants to participate in this event's success can do so from donors as well as participants. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, at this time, we welcome questions from the media. Hello, Kendall Trot with Bermuda Broadcasting. I just want to know, um, how did you come up with this initiative? Why was this important to you? 
Well, uh, Miss Trot, anyone that knows me would know that Bermuda Day is actually my favorite holiday. It has been my favorite holiday since I returned back from university. Um, in a previous life, I was a um, social studies teacher and I, I, I taught and, and I was into all things culture. So um, as I was appointed in October to this position, uh, we have our initial briefings in the ministry and um, I asked for the um, actual postmortem of, of the Bermuda Day Parade. And in the postmortem, I noticed that there were a few uh, groups that traditionally had been in the parade that were not in there. So I asked the question, I said, well, where is a, and I'll use this example, where is a Bermuda Dance Academy? Um, where is this group? Where is that group? Um, and I was told that, well, you know, over certain years, and, and the thing that most people will look at are floats. The float participation for years in this parade has been done. So I said, well, why is that? Uh, and they said, well, the resources needed to put in these floats um, is, is through the roof. So I said, well, what can we do? Um, and, you know, as everyone know how government budgets work, I mean, we have a, a set amount to work within. And I said, well, can't we take this out to, to private sector and ask to, for the private sector to assist us in, in helping that? Um, and everyone would know that the government has, has very stringent and strict financial controls. Uh, so we are grateful for the Bermuda Fund for coming on, the Bermuda Foundation, I'm sorry, for coming on um, and helping us to administrate uh, the donations that come in to make sure that it gets to these grassroots organizations. And essentially the, the objective is to take participation from 30 to 50, 60, even 70. So that is the objective. So it, it was just uh, the department all getting together and kind of reviewing what has been done in the past and seeing what needs to be done and how can we make it better. Okay, thank you, Minister. That was the final question, so that ends the press conference, and I thank everyone for joining us here today, and have a great day. Um, if I may, yes, sure, just Minister. before I go, I just want to acknowledge uh, the Director of Culture, Dr. Kim Dismont Robinson. Also, everyone would know her staff members that work extremely hard uh, on the Bermuda Day Parade. Uh, so I want to say thank you for them, because as the Minister, this was a vision that I had, and I, I did say, well, let's see how we can get this done. And I want to say thank you because uh, the, the director, as, long as, the, as, as well as the permanent secretary, uh, Ms. Marvagine O'Brien, as well as all technical officers, this was a collaborative effort. And I just want to say thank you to the entire department, the entire ministry uh, for making this work. So thank you. Thank you very much. This is the press conference. Everyone have a great day and look forward to seeing you.